All right, here with uh, engineer Logan Shitawara. We are gonna show you the complete setup uh, and takedown and deployment of the 50 foot decon bucket hose. So what we're gonna do is we've got the two and a half inch cap that has all the attachments and connections that we need to make this quick connect. So we're gonna get that two and a half inch cap on. We're gonna connect the hose. Like I said, it's got this quick connect piece to it. And then the very other end, which is pretty easily identified because we've got the nozzle and that's got the quick connect. So we got the little coupling there. He's gonna roll this hose all the way out, just like we would for the deployment. Right. Now we're gonna attach the nozzle. As you identified, he did that without the nozzle on it. it, just makes it easier so the nozzle isn't swinging around. Again, this has a 25 degree fan spray on it. We've got about 50 feet of hose here so we could get ourselves in a good distance away from the truck, away from the fire. Now we're gonna go back to the pump panel and we're gonna show you what to pump this at and how to operate effectively so that we can get and maximize the efficiency of the spray. All right, so we're in pump gear. Logan's gonna throttle up to where at a, we are at a 180 PSI with a plus or minus 10 PSI range. So each truck is gonna be different. And because each truck is gonna be different, we just wanna make sure that we got right around 180 PSI. You're gonna easily be able to identify an effective spray at the very end. And we're gonna show you what that looks like right now. So we're at the nozzle here, 50 feet away from the truck. We've got our fan spray tip on. This is gonna be standard on every single sprayer. So we don't have any other adapters for this. Um, this is what we've identified as the most effective. So if you don't have this spray, it's probably because you don't have enough pressure or maybe you have too much. So again, 180 PSI, plus or minus about 10. That should give you an effective spray. So now that we have gone through all decon process, all decon procedures. Everybody's been sprayed down. We no longer need our nozzle. We're gonna shut our valve to this discharge port. We're gonna throttle down just like we would. We have no other operations that are needed. The most important thing though, is once we've throttled down, we need to bleed, not only at the, the drain, so we have the driver's side discharge drain for discharge one. We've opened the drain plug and then I'm also gonna go down to the very end. I'm gonna open the sprayer and we're gonna make sure that we've bled off all pressure because this is a quick disconnect and we wanna disconnect it at the furthest point from the truck. We're not getting injured. We don't want that to be disconnected under high pressure. As you can see, all the water is draining from that hose. Don't put this back in your bucket with a lot of water in it. We don't want that water to get stagnant, right? To build up mildew and then it's gonna clog the hose line. So Logan's uh, disconnecting out the quick disconnect from that two and a half inch assembly there. And we're gonna take that cap off. Pretty standard, right? We're gonna put the cap back on. He still has his drain open. He's made sure that there's no more water within. And then once he gets that cap back on, he's closing his, his drain valve. And again, that's pretty much it. We've got a Nos 25 degree sprayer. We've got the two and a half inch assembly that goes from the two and a half discharge into the quick connect and then we've got the hose.